Hey everyone, today we're discussing a significant change in Canadian immigration policy that has recently taken effect. Canada has officially ended its temporary policy that allowed visitors to apply for work permits while already in the country. Let's delve into the details and understand the implications of this decision. For a period of time, Canada offered a temporary measure that allowed visitors to apply for work permits while they were already in the country. This policy was a departure from the usual requirement of applying for a work permit from outside Canada. The purpose of this temporary policy was to address specific labor shortages or economic needs within Canada. It provided a more flexible way for individuals to find employment and contribute to the Canadian economy. However, the Canadian government has now decided to discontinue this temporary policy. The reasons behind this decision may include changes in labor market conditions, a desire to streamline the immigration process, or other factors. The termination of this temporary policy means that visitors can no longer apply for work permits while they are in Canada. They will need to apply for work permit from outside Canada through the traditional channels, such as the skilled worker program or employer-sponsored work permits. We no longer need as many temporary foreign workers. We need Canadian businesses to invest in training and technology and not increasing their reliance on low-cost foreign labor. It's not fair to Canadians struggling to find a good job and it's not fair to those temporary foreign workers, some of whom are being mistreated and exploited. Also, this new policy has sparked protests from international students. Students from around the world have taken to the streets to express their concerns and opposition to the new changes. The specific details of the new policy may vary, but it's important to understand the general impact it's having on international students. These students often choose Canada as their study destination due to its reputation for quality education, multiculturalism, and opportunities for post-study work. The new policy may impose stricter regulations on international students, such as limiting their ability to work part-time, restricting their post-graduation work permits, or increasing tuition fees. These changes can have a significant financial impact on students and their families. Protests have been organized in various cities around the world, with students carrying signs, chanting slogans, and expressing their dissatisfaction with the new policy. They argue that these changes are unfair, discriminatory, and will discourage international students from choosing Canada as their study destination. Many Canadians was find it a relief, because most of Canada was occupied by other nationalities instead of Canadians itself. Maybe it's the best for their country and majority of its citizen to feel that this was their home and not for everybody. While this change may be disappointing for some, it's important to note that Canada continues to offer various immigration programs for those seeking to work and live in the country. There are still opportunities to obtain a work permit through other avenues. It's sad to know that most of Canadians didn't feel themselves in their home country.